This is a gorgeous six and a half week old puppy. Isn't she cute? Yep. A mm -hmm. chocolate Labrador retriever. Cute puppy now. And when she grows up, she's going to become a diabetic alert dog. She may one day save a life of someone like Madeline. Nine-year-old Madeline is a type one diabetic. She checks her blood sugar regularly, trying to keep her glucose count stable. If it rises too high or drops too low, she could be in trouble. Same with 10-year-old Asher, whose blood sugar often fluctuates dramatically. In fact, as we speak with Asher, his blood glucose level takes a big drop. He notices a stark difference from how he felt earlier. I'm feeling weak. Well, I felt like really good, like I could get up and go like play a sport or something. And then now I'm feeling like I can't do nothing. Once it gets that low, my mind just shuts off. Like I don't know anything. Most diabetics rely on monitors to manage the disease, but these two kids have something more. Man's best friend has been trained to detect the scent the body releases when blood sugars change. Bravo, place. Sit, place. Casey Owens has trained dogs for 20 years. Now she works specifically with Labrador retrievers. Retrievers, in general, what do they do? They retrieve and they use their nose. She teaches them what ketones smell like. Yes, yes. All I'm doing is introducing this smell. The diabetic scent is in here, and as soon as her nose acknowledges it, I will reward right on the smell. Ketones are organic compounds that result when fat is broken down in our bodies and used for energy. Typically, our body uses glucose for energy, but when there's no insulin to help it transport out of the blood into the cells, body fat is broken down into ketones as an alternate energy source. When a dog acknowledges the smell of ketones, Casey gives the dog a reward. Part of the reason is because I am a type 1 diabetic, I live, breathe, and eat the disease, plus I've been in the dog world for 15 to 20 years. I want to know why dogs do it. So simply by sheer being who I am, that's part of why it works. Because she's a diabetic and works with so many others, a litter of the puppies she trains will typically be exposed to 450 highs and lows during the first eight weeks of their lives. By the time the puppies are seven weeks old, she will have paired each with a companion like Asher and Madeline. It's amazing to me to see his bond with her. He listens to my husband and I, and he works for us, but the bond that he has with her is very, very visible. It's absolute. He watches when she walks into a room, he's up and alert and he's looking for her. She's such a member of the family. The kids come and lay on her and cuddle with her or call her up to them and she lays with them. But it's such a relief in a lot of ways. I mean, she's more than just a dog to us. The dogs learn to protect their partners by giving specific alerts when they smell ketones. When Madeline's blood sugar drops, Sully will tap her mom's left hand. When it's elevated, she'll tap the right. As the levels become more extreme, these dogs will become more vocal and more restless, sending a strong message that Madeline or Asher is in trouble and the matter needs to be resolved. These dogs will even pick up on the scent of another diabetic nearby. What's he doing right now? Telling me that somebody's low. Casey's business is called Tattletale Scent Dogs. It's one of a handful around the nation training dogs to become diabetic alert dogs. Some trainers charge as much as $25,000 for a dog. Casey says she's not doing it for the money. Her fee is $2,000. That includes continued training after the dog is placed with a family. And these dogs are in high demand. Casey already has a waiting list for the next litter she trains. To Madeline and Asher, Man's best friend has become Man's trusted lifesaver. Once when Madeline's electronic monitor gave a false alert and the dog didn't indicate any problem. The best tools that we had to work with weren't working. The trust Madeline's parents had in him kept them from giving her an overdose of insulin. His lack of alert saved her life. In Asher's case, Barrett once continued to alert after his parents thought they'd brought his blood sugar level back to normal. He probably wouldn't have woken up the next morning. 
it's really scary. You know, you watch someone you love and they can't feel it. They don't have the awareness for it. And, and you feel helpless. He will save my life. And he has. And he has like thousands of times. And it's just amazing. You love that dog, huh? He's a big black dog and he is a bright shining light for us in this world that we have to navigate. As parents, we would do this for our kids if we could. But dogs have a sense much keener than humans and are able to give a gift as compassionate and valuable as the closest family member. This world's a very hard place to live with or without disease. And a dog can walk with us and they don't say anything, they don't do anything other than they're just a quiet and ever presence. And when you add in that they're saving our lives, and if I can share that with a kid. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood in Salt Lake City, Utah.